Hey everybody, it's Jamie from No Getting Off This Train. Uh, today I am going to make a French toast casserole using leftover bread. Now, the other day I had made some uncrustable sandwiches for Allison. I'll tell you more about that in a minute. But I have all this bread left over from these peanut, those peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Now, I actually measured it because I'm kind of a nerd. And this is like half a loaf of bread right here. Can you believe that I would have thrown out a half loaf of bread? So I am going to be making just a simple French toast casserole. I'm not quite following a recipe right now um, because it's, it's so hard to measure, especially if you're only using like half a loaf of bread. You really don't know how much you're gonna have when you do something like this. So I'm kind of playing it by ear right now and we will see how it goes. So I've got the oven preheated to 350 degrees. I'm going to start with six eggs. I think six eggs would be really good, at least for half a loaf of bread. So I'll go ahead and put six eggs in here. And this one's really simple. Like, I like making pumpkin French toast and all that other stuff, but this one's going to be totally simple. I'm going to add some vanilla and some cinnamon in here. Try to get all the egg shells out here. There we go. All right, so there's my eggs. And I think I'm gonna do one cup of milk. We'll see how that goes. I can always add more if I need it. So I've got one cup of milk. And then I'm going to add some cinnamon. I'm not, well, I'll measure it. Got my measuring spoon right here. I've got about a teaspoon of cinnamon. And then I will put in a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And I've got some maple syrup here. I'm not gonna put in a whole lot because we like to put syrup on our French toast casserole. So I think I'm just going to do two tablespoons. I think that'll be good. So I'll pour that in there. The oven is ready. I need to grab a whisk. Come on. All right. Let's just whisk this up really quick. And like I said, this is going to be super simple. I've just got some leftover bread from the Uncrustables that I made yesterday. I put in six eggs, one cup of milk, I put in a teaspoon of cinnamon, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and then two tablespoons of maple syrup. So I've got that mixed up, and then now I'm just going to take my bread here and rip it into small pieces and just add it in here, and we'll see what it looks like, whether I need to add more milk or not. So here's the story behind these Uncrustable sandwiches. So I sent Allison to school with a peanut butter and jelly sandwich the other day and she came home and that peanut butter and jelly was still in her lunchbox untouched. And I said, you didn't eat your peanut butter and jelly. Like that's her favorite thing to eat. And she said, oh, I don't like your homemade sandwiches anymore. So I immediately got online because she eats the Uncrustable sandwiches at school. Like she'll eat that, the ones that are like white bread and the sugary peanut butter and all that jelly and stuff. And I mean, it can be expensive. She pays two sixty five dollars for lunch um, when, when she wants to buy. So I went to Amazon and I bought the Pampered Chef Sandwich Maker. It was only like 12 or $13 um, and circular shaped and it makes the same shape as the Uncrustable sandwiches. Like it makes the, the crimping around the edges so it seals everything in. So I ordered that on Friday night. It came in on Sunday and then yesterday I took a, a loaf of just regular white bread from Walmart and I made 11 
Uncrustable sandwiches. I put them all in the freezer. I gave one to her for lunch yesterday and she devoured it and said she really liked it. So that's awesome. I am saving money by making my own sandwiches. It's something she'll actually eat. I know what's going in it. And now I have all this leftover bread that I am not gonna throw away. Can you imagine like if I if I only made one sandwich every day and threw away the crust every time? I mean, can you imagine throwing away all this at the same time? So why not reuse something, uh, make a new meal out of it, and make something delicious? So I've cut all the bread here now I'm just going to kind of mix it together and see if I need to add any more. I think we're good. Um, what I'll end up doing is letting this sit in a casserole dish for about 20 minutes or so to let the bread soak up all the liquid and stuff. I think that is good. So what I ended up using is a half loaf of bread, basically. And then I used six eggs, one cup of milk, one teaspoon of cinnamon, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and two tablespoons of maple syrup. So let me get my casserole dish. Put this right here. And let me just pour in this right here. And I mean, you can add so many different things to this. If you wanted to add like some frozen blueberries or other kinds of frozen berries, you could add like chocolate chips to it. You could add half a cup of pumpkin puree. I mean, the possibilities are endless, but I just wanted to do a very simple French toast casserole. So here it is. I'm gonna end up letting it sit for about 15, 20 minutes or so. I'm gonna bake it at 350 degrees for, I'm gonna say 30 minutes or so. It might take a little bit longer, but I'll check it after 30 minutes. I will post some pictures when I'm done. Um, if you guys want to see any more like Facebook Live recipes, hey, just leave me a comment, let me know. I can't wait to see how this turns out and I hope I gave you guys some good ideas for later.